So the question is how to present the screen of an iPad that has an ebook and a Kindle book that you're reading right now and to present this parallel while you are presenting in a live video or in a recorded video. It could look like this here where I have here my screen from my iPad that I'm sharing live. This is behind the, the screen here. So I have connected my iPad with the computer, the iMac mini that is in here. And then this is shown on my camera switcher as an iPad as an additional source. And let's come to this just in a second. Let's just create this quickly together. I am showing you here my environment, the Ecamm Live environment where I have here the scenes here, the scenes window. Then I have overlays. Overlays is basically all the different parts here, like the, the logo here that you can see up here that I can easily move and uh, resize as I want and they are all here in the overlays tab. If you would like to create a new scene, a scene is like a slide on PowerPoint, then just go to here the scenes window, just click on the plus and so you create a new scene. Now you go here to the camera switcher, you decide which camera you are should be the main picture. This is here my main camera. Now I am going to the overlays and I am I am looking for a new camera overlay here. It's called now the same window is overlaid with the same picture basically with the same camera. I'm just I'm resizing this here and I am clicking here on this little pen here where I am just switching the source and this would be here the iPad. So look here now I have the iPad as a source and all I need to do is because I have just also assigned that the shape here will be custom so I can easily reshape and put it as the right size I would like it to be. So here basically that's all it. So I just have to move myself maybe to be also in the middle of this picture while I am presenting here my live screen uh, from the iPad. The nice thing about this here is that you can while you're clicking on here you have a lot of additional possibilities like you can add a border, a border width basically so you can just put a color for the border, for example here, you put in a brownish color and then you can also round the edges, though you can make them like either very round or a little bit, only a little bit. And then for example, you can also assign a shadow to it so that there will be a little bit more the feeling of depth here for this. But then this is basically it. So you can now use this scene, you can just rename it here. You can say this is the reading scene and then you can quickly switch from one scene. For example, here, this, this scene where, where that's the standard scene and then you can quickly switch again to the new reading scene like this. So wishing you a lot of fun creating this with Ecamm, which is the easiest way to do as you go scenes like this with your look and feel, which are so hyper creative and uh, make it so easy for you to now share this as a virtual screen also on your Zoom window. Have a lot of fun. Bye bye.